Well, it's uh, May the 1st here in uh, Zhengzhou, uh, Hunan Province, China. And um, uh, today is Labor Day in China, and um, it's May the 1st. And I was out for a walk through the park. This park actually is a riverside park. It's called Binhe Park, and uh, it actually runs right beside the building where I live. But uh, stopped here because this is one place that I know that they play this particular sport. You can see them throwing it back and forth over the net. And uh, they just have kind of two sticks with some type of line. Now, I want to call it string, but it's probably a lot stronger than what we would just call string. And the thing that they have looks like a top. Now, the little boy, he has one that has the top shape on the uh, bottom and the top of it, and uh, he's playing with it there, learning. Um, yeah. But uh, in a few minutes, there's going to be a man that's going to come across. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hello. I'm speaking. I'm speaking to the people there, uh, just uh, telling them good morning, and they're fascinated by the foreigner because they don't they don't see. I mean, I promise you, in in three or four months' time they see one foreigner come by where they're at right there, um, if that many. Uh, it could be as much as four to six months that they never see a foreigner that like me. Of course, I stand out. First of all, I'm a big guy. Secondly, I've got big round eyes. And um, uh, so they, they all know they can spot a foreigner very easily because um, we, we just simply stand out. But this, this place is actually near a school where I taught when I first came here. Um, and uh, so I've been by this many, many times, but I've not ever taken any video. Decided today, because I had plenty of time on my hands to stop, take some video and show you. Uh, the man in the white pants walking right, he, you see him between the two courts there walking towards me. He's got something on his head. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stop him and ask him what do you call this. Yeah, well, well, uh, 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 so what you, just playing. a job. Uh, Kongu. Just a job. Kongu. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's a language. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kongu. Kongu. More like do. Do. D-O-U. Do. Do. I said just a job. Uh, uh, um, just sure means this. Jiao means call. Shenma means what? So I asked him, I asked him, what do you call this? He said, Kongdu. Kongdu. So one thing about it is that I could take a Chinese person with me to this very spot here. They could start talking to another Chinese person and they not understand each other when they're talking because dialects are abundant. Um, and in this city of Zhengzhou, uh, where I live, uh, it is, um, the population's about 10 million people with the migrant population of construction workers uh, and others here, it's about 12 million people. And um, uh, so you've got a lot of different dialects. <laughs> so it's, it's not unusual that they can't understand each other when they talk. Now, their written language is common, and they can all read the same thing. But as far as, um, uh, as, far as speaking, uh, uh, it, it may be quite different. Most of the people here are from the countryside. They've been displaced by the government. Uh, don't feel sorry for them. Uh, their villages were probably um, uh, taken in what we would call an eminent domain situation. Uh, <laughs> But it's quite likely that the government gave them four or five apartments uh, to rent out and to live very comfortably the rest of their lives. They can rent out the apartments so they become landlords mm. because most of the people that own apartments, including my landlord, <coughs> actually came from the countryside. So you'll see this man. He, uh, <coughs> You might hear some music. The music... Uh, I've got a little background music going here, but uh, 
the music that you'll hear. He turned it up just now because he's going to raise the flag. That's the music coming from a little speaker on his belt there that he's got around his vest. <clears throat> so I'm showing up into the trees. He's he's raising that top spinning. It's still spinning. He made it start spinning, and he puts it up there. Kind of an odd person, but I, I like odd people like this. It make <laughs> make life interesting. So he's got that. He's got that top. Now he's going to do some things in just a minute that are really quite interesting. <clears throat> He's got the top spinning at the top of his extended pole there. And he's got the flag up there. I don't know if I go up. I don't show it all the way up. Maybe I couldn't see it. It was up in the trees. He's playing some kind of patriotic song. Uh, Archie is the district that I live in. Archie means uh, 27. And it um, it's a famous uh, it's a famous number in China because uh, the central the old central part of the city has a tower it's a pagoda type tower there that is um, a memorial to the workers who went on strike on um, uh, February the seventh this was back uh, before the before the communist revolution in China which was uh, established in October the 1st, 1949. Uh, it was probably in the 1920s. There was a strike of workers, and um, uh, there's a memorial honoring them. I actually live in the Archie, or what would be called the 227. Two R is, um, is 2, T is 7. So I actually live in the Archie district of Zhengzhou. So... He's going to do some interesting things here. He's got a line on that. That top is not attached. There you go. You can see he put it on top of his head. He's picking up another one. He's going to get it started. He's not quite as successful with this one. <coughs> I thought he was asking me to play this game with him. I said, boo way, boo way, boo way. I, I can't, I can't. Um, he wasn't. He was wanting me to watch him do his little act here, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is a this is a typical morning here. I mean, I realize today is a holiday here, but um, it's not unusual. These people will be out there every morning exercising, doing this. Not quite as many people out walking this morning as I usually see because um, it's a holiday. Maybe some of them have gone back to the village they're from. As I said, most people, most of the citizens of Jungto are uh, from the countryside. They still have family in the countryside. So they're, they're country people living in a big city. Okay. So he's got it spinning on top. He's got it spinning on bottom. Now he's raising his flags. Yeah, he's he's showing his patriotism. The red scarf he's got around his his head there, uh, maybe holding his hat on, but it's it's also kind of representative of the pioneer spirit of the. Um, so it's kind of a patriotic spirit type thing kids that are go to a club kind of like boy scouts or cub scouts that wear that red flag they don't wear it on their head like that they wear it around their neck kind of a scarf around their neck but anyway that's what that represents so you see the you could see the speaker on his on his right hip there that's where his music's coming from He's going to get these tops spinning. He's going to put this one on a stick, kind of walk it down the stick. 
and he's, he's kind of marching around. So, you know, he might be a little bit crazy, but I don't know. It's kind of cute. Certainly makes my morning walk uh, quite interesting. But he's, he's marching around. Ooh. He's going to let it go all the way down to the end there. Take the one off of his head, let it fall. <laughs> now, oh, he caught it up on his head. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> so there, there's the end of his act. Very good. So that's, that's my morning here in May the 1st, 2018 in Zhengzhou, China. Uh, I'm going to post several videos like this, and uh, I'll show them to you later. Bye-bye.